Hey everybody, guess what? You were here and we weren't. We were like in some magic black hole place, but welcome to Kathy's Kitchen. And what we're doing is we're having a live extravaganza this week. While I get to interview and introduce you to some really amazing plant-based people. And today we have Tammy Kramer from Nutmeg Notebook on for us and she's going to show us some secrets about making the best chopped salads as well as sharing some information about her so tammy you guys don't know this happened once before but i do <laughs> take it again <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, technical issues happen all the time, so not a problem. I'm so happy to be here with you, Kathy. I really enjoyed visiting with you on our channel yesterday. So um, I've been plant-based since 2013, and I originally went plant-based for health reasons because my cholesterol was climbing, um, you know, uh, my parents both have high cholesterol. And so my doctor said, well, if this trend continues, we're going to have to put you on a statin. And I said, yeah, I'm not doing that. And so I went to Dr. Google and started searching to see how I could naturally bring down my cholesterol. And I stumbled upon whole food, plant-based, no oil. Um, my first introduction was really Dr. Joel Furman. And one of his principles that he taught was to have a salad as one of your main meals every day. And so I started doing that in 2013 and my husband joined me in that. And we still do that today, all these years later. And it helped me lose weight. So I think Tom, can you put up my before picture? Here. Do you have my before picture? Um, and so it helped me lose weight. And it also has helped me maintain my weight loss. So I lost 49 pounds. Chef AJ always gives me a hard time and says, couldn't you just lose one more pound so you can say you lost 50? <laughs> that and sounds like, like Chef AJ. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm, she's like, I'm going to say you've lost almost, because I would say I've lost 49 pounds and kept it off. And she's like, I'm going to say you've lost almost 50, but if you could just lose that extra pound. Um, but anyway, and so it's been great. And then in 2015, I joined Chef AJ's program. I had become hypo, hypothyroid at that time. And I had started to gain some weight back around my abdomen. And I have some other issues and I'm not supposed to um, have any extra weight on me because of some surgery that I've had to have. And so um, she helped me get back to my um healthy weight and i and she introduced me to chopped salads i had never had a chopped salad before and she introduced me to chopped salads and it totally just changed how i ate salads from then on and i kind of went um crazy with them coming up with lots of different ways that i could make them and the first thing that i discovered is that i didn't enjoy getting everything out every day to make us these beautiful salads. And so through trial and error, I figured out how I could batch prep. Tom, you want to put up the picture of batch prep? So I have Ooh. it down to, a, I know, right? I have it down to a science now. I make 14 of these in 30 minutes and they last a week because Tom and I both eat one of these every day as one of our main meals. Of course, it's not going to be satisfying just to have those raw vegetables. You know, we have to add fun stuff to them and some starch because you need that starch for satiety. So this is also, you know, we're learning so much now, Kathy, about our gut health and the gut biome. Um, there's, you know, a lot of doctors are talking about it now. There's a direct correlation between our gut health and our immunity and our brain health and just, you know, everything that's going on in the body. So we have, you know, thousands and thousands of these little microbes that live in our gut and they need grains and they need greens in order to live and survive. And so we need to incorporate as many different grains and greens as we can 
over the course of the week in order to keep our system healthy. And so our salads really do that. Now, the interesting thing is um, that we don't use any lettuce in our salads. I use a lot of different dark leafy greens and that helps them to last longer. And so we have um, my contribution to the uh, bundle course is I have this beautiful chopped salad course where I, yeah, that's one of our salads the when we, the dark leafy greens. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, Joanne Lakes has already said your salads are art. I don't know if you saw that. And then she also oh. told me I need to look at your refrigerator because it's organized. I am known for doing my classes and I'm like, oh, I forgot something in the fridge and you hear stuff kind of getting ready to fall down and have an avalanche. So, oh, yay, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I do say that I like to work smarter and smarter, not harder in the kitchen. And so I do like things to be organized because it saves a lot of time an awful lot of time. So in our course, we have for the beautiful chopped salads, we have 12 different videos, instructional videos. So I show you, I go through every um, piece of um, greens and everything that I put in my salad step by step and show you what I use and why I've chosen it and how to make the salads. And um, then do you have, I don't think you did the picture of the fridge, did you? When no. we have it stocked. Okay. No, um, it yeah, you can bring it up later. And so, but what we do then, we have these and then we chop them and we chop them in that big bowl that Tom showed you. But I also show you, it's a wood bowl with a mezzaluna knife, but I also show you two other ways to chop them because you don't have to have the wood bowl to do it. And I just want everybody to enjoy a chopped salad, um, whether you have a chopping bowl or not. So I show you different methods to be able to accomplish that. And then Tom, okay. if you wanna show them some of the chopped salads that we make. So I also, I like crunch and different textures mm -hmm. in my salad. Yeah, so there's so one, um, you know, I and then they change from, um, from season to season, depending on what is in stock mm -hmm. is in. Um, What's at the bottom of that one? Is that seed crusted? Potatoes yes, or I'm, I'm going. Yes, okay. Those are Japanese Japanese sweet potato everything bagel croutons. Yeah, and I have a I have a plate of them here, so I'll talk to you about that. I teach you how to make those. Mm. Um, and underneath all of these beauties is one of my salads that has been chopped, and then I just top them in all different ways depending on what's available seasonally and what I'm hungry for. But the important thing to know is that you need to add other things to them to make them filling because you know this is probably only about 150 calories of raw vegetables and that's not going to sustain you so you have to add things so I, what i, I want to show you, you what, can i ask you just a couple yeah. questions before you get started and then we'll yeah. put you full string in and you can just absolutely go. and you may answer some of these anyhow um is that so i noticed on your picture and obviously it's a picture of one 14 day salad prep do you always have the cabbage, carrots, broccoli slaw, tomatoes, and a green that is not lettuce? So, and by that, yeah. you were talking about thinking arugula, spinach, kale, collards, Swiss chard. I have all of those. Yep. I'll, I'll use all of those in here. I'll use, I use multiple because every day I want to get in a variety of the greens. And so I don't use just one. Um, I like to buy the power greens also mm -hmm. from um, Costco. Um, we might, you know, take a handful of those and throw, throw those in. And then we also sprout. Um, I do my own sprouting. And so um, I haven't gotten into growing microgreens yet. Um, so I, I do buy microgreens because those are like little superfoods. You know, the broccoli sprouts have just a little handful of them has way more nutrition than eating the whole head of broccoli. And so that also just, you know, gives us a nutritional boost. Um, mm -hmm. And it also is, you know, very low calorie density. Um, some of us just have a propensity to um, put 
put on weight and I do at just my body just really, you know, if there was a famine, I would do really well <laughs> in the famine because my body hangs on to everything. So I have to, you know, really work at um, trying to keep my weight at a healthy level. Yeah. Show them our fridge. Tom's going to, go okay. Awesome. Okay. Tom's going to, here, I'm going to show you what our, yeah, go full screen. Yeah. I'll move you full what screen and then you can go into the demo. Ooh, it, it's as pretty. Yeah. So see, I try to always use clear containers so that we can see everything. The salads do take up a considerable amount of room, but they're also, you know, that's, um, I don't eat breakfast. I just eat two meals a day. So this, the salads are half of my meals for the week are taken care of. And okay. so that also reduces decision fatigue about what to eat because, um, you know, in 30 minutes, I make 14 meals for us, which, you know, that frees me up to do all kinds of fun stuff instead of having to spend all my time in the kitchen. So one of my, one of my favorite things are um, chickpea croutons. And so these are a garlic chickpea crouton. And I just used um, today, you can cook your own garbanzo beans if you wish, um, but I always keep canned beans on hand for when I don't have beans already cooked. And I use two of these cans of beans and these, um, I just rinse them and um, I keep the aquafaba. I save the aquafaba because you can do a lot of different things with that. And Kathy probably has a lot of ideas for you for that. But I will use it in place of oil when I am like oven roasting vegetables, for instance. So then I just lay them out on a kitchen towel and I let them dry. And um, if the skins are starting to pop off, I'll take another kitchen towel and put it over the top of them and just roll it around and that'll help the skins to pop off. Um, but you don't have to skin them all. It's just if they have the loose ones. And then I reserved two teaspoons of the aquafaba to put in with the chickpeas because I'm not using any oil in it. And, um, but I do still like to rinse them because like the, these two cans, the aquafaba in it was really thick. And so that just makes them kind of gummy when you go to cook them. And then I have, I've got to look at my notes here. I have um, two teaspoons of garlic powder and a teaspoon of salt substitute. And I'll talk to you about what which one I use. A teaspoon of nutritional yeast. And optional is a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And um, I didn't include the cayenne today because Tom isn't that big of a fan of it. And then I just mix those together and then I pour them over my chickpeas and I just give them a little stir just to coat them nicely and just to distribute that aquafaba around. And the aquafaba well. is going to make those spices hold on and that's something I do when I air fry. So it's kind of funny yes. when you think the chickpeas naturally have it already, right? They do. <laughs> yeah, but th it works great. And this, I wish we had that smell of vision because these smell so amazing. So this is the um, salt substitute that, where can I put it where it'll show best, Tom? This is the salt substitute that I like to use. This is... No, folks, it, 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 this is... Okay, this is focus. Hold it closer. Okay, this is by Well Your World, and he has a whole line of oil free, salt free, sugar free products that you can purchase online. We actually have an affiliate link with them. It's um, wellyourworld.com forward forward slash nutmeg. And we love their products. We, you know, we were using them before we became affiliates with them and we just love them. And so, and this is really, um, really good because it, it does give you that little bit of a salty flavor or use Kathy's salt substitute, which I learned about yesterday, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of celery seed, and then grind that up and use that and so that's very inexpensive homemade salt substitute can you, you tell can us use. a little bit about what's inside the well you well your world one and that was called stardust sure. correct yeah yeah this one is called stardust it this one has nutritional yeast in it but he has one called galaxy that does not have nutritional yeast for those who are sensitive to it and then it has carrot onion citric acid lemon, 
red bell pepper, rice holes, and that's, you know, to keep it from caking, paprika, and some other spices. Oh, it and sounds it's, delicious. It's, yeah, it's really good. And it's Tom's favorite. He likes to sprinkle it on just about everything. Um, and it's great. And then there, the Galaxy one is the one that doesn't have any um, nutritional yeast in it. And then he also, he has, I don't know, five or six different spices. Now I just have... Um, my little um, sheet here and I have parchment paper on it. So you can either bake these at 400 degrees in your oven. What I usually do is air fry them. Um, also at 400 degrees, I have the Breville Smart Oven Air. And so um, I'll just put them on that tray. I'm just not going to do that right now because it'll make my counter all messy. So I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and just spread them out on here. But Kathy's laughing because she knows. What a mess I feel you. <laughs> yeah, because then the spices fall through. I usually do it over a cookie sheet. I'll put my air frying rack over a cookie sheet. But what I do is I spread them out because you want them to be in a single layer so that they get nice and crunchy. Because what we want to happen is we want these to be crisp like croutons are. Because I love to have that little bit of crunch in my salad. And then I'll, I'll put them in 400 degrees for 20 minutes. But I will stir them every 10, whether I do them in the oven or if I do them in the air fryer. And you just want to stir them to make sure that um, they don't burn and that they're getting evenly brown. And then after 20 minutes, I watch them really close. I stay right there because I, if I don't, I burn too many batches. Mm -hmm. And I'll stay right, <laughs> you're laughing. Yeah, you had that problem too. And I'll just watch them really close. And then I'll take them out and the important thing is not to put them in a container until they've cooled down. Because if you put them in a container too soon, they're still hot, they'll create condensation, and then they're going to go soft on you. If that does happen, then the next day, just pop them back in the air fryer, but only for like a minute or two. That will crisp them back up. So, and then you'll get this. Can, Can you, you hear, hear that? Oh, yeah. yeah, I do hear those. They sound really nice. Now, what's your tell for when they're done? Because it's like, for I find that a lot of times you're like going along, you're like, these are never turning into those crunchy things. Those people are lying. And then it's kind of in between, right? And then it's perfect. Yeah. So, you know, it, it you're going to have to kind of eyeball it or pull one out and taste it. And they may not be completely crunchy when you first take them out of the air fryer but or the oven, but they do seem to finish off, I have found. And um, so it, it's kind of trial and error. I don't know. Do you have a, a way to tell people how to tell? I've had them get too done. I have had them get too done and too hard. I Absolutely. Have. Um, and then it's kind of like the insides tell. are gone. Yes, but you can kind of tell by the color they are and the size. So so here, here we have one. Let's do one and one. Here we have one, um, you know, that isn't cooked yet. And then look at how, how much it shrinks, how that, much it shrinks down. That's a really good point, too. And I really like that you brought up um, the fact that, they do keep cooking when you take them out because one of the things that I think we always forget, we people are learning from the Instant Pot, I think, because you can cook something for zero minutes, but it cooks on the way up to pressure and the way down from pressure. And air frying and baking, it's still got all that heat in there, so it will finish up and continue to cook. Uh, Joanne yes. says um, she bakes them in her air fryer and puts them in a jar when cold to keep them. And she uses the color as a tail, a tail as well. And Joanne yeah. lives in Florida, so she lives in a humid climate like I do. I think you live in a more arid climate. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, I'm in Northern California, and, and we do not have humidity here. And what can happen here is I've done this before. I made air fryer potato chips to take somewhere, and in the time it took, they were really gross. They were like all back to their natural format. 
Okay, wow. so I'm excited to see more. These, these croutons look amazing, and I love the thought process about adding something crunchy and filling because I think one of the things when people start turning plant-based, one of the things they miss is the crunch of certain foods that they're, they've kind of gotten used to. Yeah, and as, and especially, you have, you're going to show a picture. Um, well, that's just chickpeas. That's, that's just chickpeas, not croutons. Oh, yeah. Um, chickpeas but, are good yeah. all the ways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're good at no matter how. So yeah, if I don't have the chickpea croutons, then, you know, I'll add beans or, you know, I'll have some kind of um, legume no, in it. Oh, well, that's the the um, Japanese sweet potato croutons. So here's what I do with these, you guys. So I, I batch prep my food. And so while my while I'm making uh, while I'm making my salads, I'll always have potatoes baking in the oven and I'll bake Japanese sweet potatoes and Hannah yams and Yukon gold potatoes. And I'll do enough to get us through the week. And then I'll stand them up in my containers upright in an open container, because if I put a lid on it, then, you know, moisture will build up and they'll get soggy. And then what I do is I take a cold, already baked Japanese sweet potato from the fridge and I'll cut it in half and then I'll cut it into slices. Mm -hmm. And then I take the this is Well Your World's Everything Bagel Spice and it's SOS free. So it's does not have salt oil or sugar there is a salt free one also at sprouts if you have a sprouts um, they also carry one and so i'll just sprinkle this out on a plate and then i'll take my slices of cooked japanese sweet potato and i'll press them into the everything bagel and then i put them in the broiler or well, if I'm at my mom and dad's house, I put them in the broiler. If I'm at my house, I do them in the air fryer because mom and dad didn't used to have a, an air fryer. And then I will just air fry them about, oh, 12 to 15 minutes. And the temperature is going to depend on which air fryer. So today I made these in our Ninja um, because I had the croutons going in my Breville. And I use like 385 in my Ninja because the rack is much closer to the heating element and at 400 it'll burn in there you do have to watch these because the nuts the seeds can burn on you so i do watch them um, fairly closely just to make sure and then they turn out so amazing when you cook the sweet potatoes uh, the second time after they've already been baked more of those natural sugars come to the surface and caramelize and oh my goodness they are such a treat to eat yeah let's show that one no, so um, here's action. one yeah Ooh. so that's it's so oh they're so good you guys so that's a chopped salad that's a summer one i have some garbanzo beans in there as well as my sweet potato and then it would fresh berries were in season so i have fresh berries in there and then um it looks like i have um i might have and yeah i have blueberries strawberries garbanzo beans and that's probably a fresh herb that i've chopped up and put in there as well i do love to add fresh herbs to the salads as well um, just because it creates a lot of flavor. That one has um, sun-dried tomatoes in it. Um, oh, that's our Aero Garden speaking oh, at us. Um, it's our, our Aero Garden is telling it us it water. needs water. And it, it heard me talking about fresh herbs um, because we grow <laughs> fresh herbs in it. And um, so I, I usually include fruit in my salads as well. I like that sweet element in there. So I like different textures and I like different flavors. And then of course, um, the uh, sprouts, I love to add different kinds of sprouts to it. And that one has fresh figs. And one so, last, uh, um, oh yes, those are tomatoes with that, these guys. yeah, tomatoes that we grew in our garden. And then, um, and I love to do like blueberries. Um, I, you'll see oh, a lot of blueberries in my salads yeah, just because yeah, you already did that one. Just because I love the, you know, the antioxidants that they have. So I always strive for a lot of color and a lot of texture and different flavors. 
in my cell. It's in, in my um, in the PDF that you get along with my course. I have 25 different um, salads in here for you to make so that because people would tell me, I just don't know. I'm not as creative as you. I can't think of different ways to make my salads. So I've um, solved that for you in here. And I have, I think there's three videos where I show you making different ones. But of course, I couldn't make 25 different videos. But what I did do was I provided you with full color pictures. And then I tell you what's in those salads, just to give you lots of ideas. Another thing that I have figured out with my salads is how to make different things with them. And so I love to make chopped salad nori wraps. So I'll Ooh. make my own hummus. Oh, these are so good, Kathy. You have to try them. <gasps> They're so much fun in the summertime. So I'll take, I'll chop my salad and then I'll spread a little bit of hummus on the nori wrap. This one I wrapped twice because I did the nori sheet on top of a brown rice wrapper and sprinkled the brown rice wrapper with a little bit of sesame seeds. Then I put my nori sheet on it, put some of my homemade hummus on it, then my chopped salad. And you can add stuff to the chopped salad. Like sometimes I'll add some air fried sweet potato in there or a little bit of tofu if I want. Just Oh, thank you, Joanne. And those are such a fun, refreshing way to eat the chopped salad in the summertime. And I'm gluten free. And so it gives me something that I can hold because I miss having sandwiches um, with being gluten free. And then the other thing, Tom, um, let's do the saute. Because I don't use any lettuce in these, they can also be sauteed and they can be turned into a hot meal. And that way, if we get to the end of the week, let's say something happened. And one day, you know, we ended up going to someone's house, you know, our daughter invites us over to eat. So we don't get our salad eaten that day. I can take and throw everything in a skillet and I can saute it and I'll add some extra red onion and I'll add some mushrooms and then, you know, whatever I might have in the fridge that also needs to be used up and I'll saute it and add some garlic to it and then we'll have it over one of our favorite grains and it's so delicious that way or sometimes Tom will take it and chop it up and he'll add it to some soup that he's making or we can pop it in the freezer like you know if we uh, are leaving to go out of town and there's a couple salads left and you know we're flying and we can't take them with us then I'll just put them in a freezer bag and freeze them. And then later we will just saute them up and that's, use them. So if that's it, such a great when, tip. So I want to take just a minute for everyone to really kind of think about that for a second, because sure. I, was, I was even going to kind of come back and ask you because a lot of times people are saying, oh, I can't make salads that far ahead of time. So you've kind of solved that because you're not using mm -hmm. lettuce or things that degrade really quickly. And so I love right. that. And I make homemade cruciferous crunch. So it's kind of like Ooh. a lot of people do that, get it at Trader Joe's. It's bigger um, than Cheryl. My wife likes it. So I always have to chop it up anyhow. So I, yeah. I save broccoli stems and shred them, shred carrots, use green and red cabbage. You can also shred Brussels sprouts. And it mm -hmm. makes so much. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can see that. And you, I talk about that too, because when I use it, I put it on salads, I put it in stir fries. Like, so I'll take four cups of that and that's the base of my, of a stir fry or put three cups of that with some tofu for a tofu scramble. And it's a great yes. easy way. So the people who already know that, look at what you're seeing in front of you right now in that plastic. You can chop that up and do all the same things with it and more, just like what Tammy's telling you. So I think, A, I don't mean to lighten how the impact of just making all your salads at once is, because that's pretty brilliant in and of itself. But it, when you're trying something new, and Tammy, maybe this doesn't happen to you, but it happens to me, you know, your voice is like going, 
well, but that's going to be wasteful or, well, that's going to cost a lot of money or, well, you know what I mean? All those doubts come. And so I feel, you know, oh, I'm, I'm not going to want to just eat that texture of salad. So you fixed pretty much all of those, right? You've taken those mm -hmm. right yeah. out, which is really amazing and important. And so we know we have crunchy elements we could have and, and making these healthy items still fit in with kind of what our mouthfeel wants and giving us some familiar flavors like the everything bagel that obviously we all love or it wouldn't be so yes. popular right now. And then putting that on a crunchy something that's good for you. And I love all these ideas. So, and I love the idea that you can put it in the freezer. If, if you're in a pinch, throw it in the soup. You could even make like a salad smoothie if you had to not chew the smoothie and move on. I know that's not the best ideal way, but instead of missing your meal for the day, you could do that too. Absolutely. You can, you can take this and put it in the, in the blender and, you know, add some water to it and you can puree it and have a savory um, smoothie. Absolutely. I think, um, I think Chef AJ has a video about doing that um, where it's a, you know, a savory smoothie and that would also be really delicious. So then I also give you a lot of different um, salad dressings. So I have a um, vegan ranch and a vegan Caesar, and I don't use any nuts in, in mine because I try to keep the calorie density of them low and the fat low in them. And my grandson is allergic to um, several different types of nuts. So we can't have cashews in our house. So I have learned to make adjustments and make a lot of things without cashews that typically would have cashews in them. And then I also, um, oh, this is my um, ginger orange balsamic, which mm. has an Asian flair to it. And so the, the thing about this is that people say, well, don't you get bored eating a salad every day? You know, well, obviously I haven't because I've been doing it since 2013. But part of the reason is I have such variety within that. I will even in the winter time, Sometimes I will take chili, I'll heat up chili, or I have this uh, hearty lentil vegetable stew that I'll heat up and I'll put it over a chopped salad and it's delicious, it, you know, so you can do so much with it. Um, I also, I love Mexican food. So I'll do a taco salad where all my toppings are hot and then I make these crispy tortilla strips like some of the Mexican restaurants do to sprinkle over. You got a picture to show Tom over the top of the salad and underneath all that lusciousness there, there is a chopped salad under there, my chipotle nacho cheese sauce, my homemade salsa. And then that's a couple of plantains on top. And that salad tastes completely different from the everything bagel crouton topped salad. And so, you know, that just makes it really fun and delicious. So I include a wide variety so that my palate is always happy with what I'm having. And, you know, I can do Mediterranean, like I, I have in here one where I do a falafel patty on it and hummus and, you know, squeeze fresh lemon over it. And it's a Mediterranean flavor. So pretty much whatever um, flavor you want, you can do in a chopped salad. And it just helps me so much to be able to get all those healthy greens in, um, as well as, you know, be satisfied with what I'm eating. And I just feel so good when I have my salad. And Tom and I both, we hate to miss having our salad. They say that um, you crave the foods that you habitually eat. And we have certainly found that to be true because um, we always look forward to having our salads. So I'm happy to take any questions if anyone has any questions. So when you get the, the bundle, if you look for beautiful chopped salad is the name of my course. And inside the front cover, you get... Um, instructions on how to um, go to our blog. Where is that? How to go to the blog and get the um, 
access to the videos. So it's right inside, it says accessing course materials. And so you can view the videos are on our website and um, you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch. You can go back and watch them as many you times. Register. Yeah, you have to register, to register, but all the directions are in there and how to register once you get to the blog um, to see the videos. And you can watch them as many times as you want. You can come back as many times as you want to watch them. And then the PDF, you can download that to your um, to your computer. You can put it on your smartphone if you want. You can put it on your um, tablet if you want to do that. And you can print it if you want to. And um, and you could just put it in a three ring binder. And if you want to keep the pages clean, you can put it in plastic sleeves. I did that with some of the um, PDFs from the bundle just because I'm like, oh, I love all these recipes. I know I'm going to use these a lot. And so, um, so I hope that it helps everybody be able to eat more salads prep salads in advance. And I also want to say, make them the size that's appropriate for you. Of course, in the video, I'm showing you the size that Tom and I like. It may be too big for some of you, or it might not be enough. And so adjust the size accordingly. And it just takes a couple of weeks of batch prepping them to figure out, you know, oh, I'm using too much or you know, I need to make them a little bit bigger and then find some containers. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any containers big enough that are not plastic. I'm still searching for like, these are nine cup containers um, for something that's affordable. Let me say, I've seen some <laughs> glass containers, but 14 of them would be very expensive. So, but somebody recently told me that they thought that Ikea might have um, something and I just haven't made it there yet. That's a great idea because I was going to say I've seen I think it's Elo at Target. They have a bigger one like that. It's glass on the bottom and but I do think they're okay. like 20 to 25 dollars each. So I mean that is wow. a fairly significant investment. Now I do have a question yeah. from Anthea. She said can Tammy say how much it costs to print and bind your cook your PDF like you have it? Yeah. So, well, this one we took and I had it, I had it all made on um, like um, cardstock because I, <laughs> so I paid a lot. Um, I think it was, I think it was like, was it $38, Tom? Because I, because I had it put on cardstock, mm -hmm. it would have been much cheaper. You if, can print it home but you, print yeah, it. you can, you can print it at home which I did other people's PDFs, but I knew that I was going to be, you know, showing this a lot. And so I wanted to do it on the card stuff, but you can do it less expensive. And like my daughter, um, she is a teacher and she homeschools her kids now. And so she bought a kit that, you know, where you can bind things yourself and it's not spiral though. Um, but it's a lot less expensive. And then she just, she, you know, buys a lot of um, teaching materials through bundles. And so she bought that kit so that she could print off all of the materials. And then she just, it has a plastic um, little like hooks. I think you probably have seen some books, like some cookbooks and things that have that plastic binding like on the them. Like the old fashioned church one. cookbooks, right? There you go. Exactly. Yeah. It's like that. Like clip. And it's like a clip kind of, and it's inexpensive. And then you get a paper punch that punches to accommodate um, how it's made. And so that's a more economical way um, to do it. So, but um, the cardstock really made the price go up doing it all on cardstock. But I felt like I had to have it be durable for what we're doing. But I've been very happy with doing the, um, I don't think I have my binder close by um, doing the the PDFs, printing them at home and then putting them in the plastic sleeves. We, you know, just bought a big box of the plastic sleeves and then putting them in the plastic sleeves and putting them in a three ring binder. And, you know, that has worked out really well. Oh, here's one. This one isn't in the bundle, but so I can show you, you know, so you can just put the front page in the front cover. <laughs> And then 
you know, just plastic sleeves. And this was a PDF recipe book that I bought um, a while back. And so I just do that with them. And that works really well. That's a great idea too. And I know a lot of people are resistant to reading recipes on their computers and things. But as I get older, I appreciate being able to change that font size on whatever I'm on. So even if I'm on my phone, like let's say I'm looking at Tammy's book and I'm like, oh, I'm at the grocery store. What was in that cool thing that I wanted to make? And I can take my two fingers and go whoop until I can read the amount of words and then move it. <laughs> so like remember in the old days, there used to be like a section and maybe there still is a section in, in the bookstore now for like large print books. And I feel yes. like what I've done is saved myself thousands of dollars by reading some things on my iPad now. So I feel like I'm set through like 120, you know, no matter how there big I go. have to make it. Yes. No, that's a very good point. That is a good point. I am kind of old school too, I guess, in a way I do. I do love um, printed recipes, but, um, but I have plenty of them on my iPad so that I can just, you know, scroll through them. And also then if I'm traveling, if I'm going to my parents, my parents live in Nebraska, um, I do all the cooking when I get there because they don't eat like me. And my mom's like, I have no idea what to fix for you, girl. You just, you <laughs> can take over the cooking. And that way I have my recipes with me, um, you know, and I don't have to go, oh, what was in that, you know? Right. And, and even though you guys who are watching this may not have a whole lot of your own recipes, remember that you can go to nutmegnotebook.com wherever you are or healthyslowcooking.com and you can get those recipes on your phone or any device too. And I think that's one of the, one of the perks because I went vegetarian in 1983 and there were like very few cookbooks that you could get a hold of. Yes. Molly Katzen was like my hero. Um, but so now we have so many great options to us and I really love, um, the whole thing about the bundle too. So the plant-based bundle, I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I know some of you already have it. One of the questions, um, Joanne said is like, Tammy's salad book is in the bundle. Oh yeah. With the video classes, like there's over a hundred products in there and it, that makes some people nervous, but this is what I want to say to you is the bundle costs $49. So when we talk it all up, you're probably like, it's a million dollars. No, it's $49. You get over a hundred different eBooks, courses, videos. There's even a, some things that are coming up in the future. Like, is it with one of the doctors, there gets to be a live conversation. So many things with so many things and when you go and wherever you're watching this somewhere <laughs> you will see a link that you can go to it's my affiliate link um you will go through and then see all the list of the things and then you can go oh these 10 things i really need and if you only get those 10 things it's probably worth way more than 49 dollars if you download everything what is it Tammy, isn't it like $4,700 worth of stuff? It is. It's worth over, when they added it up, it was worth over $4,700 worth of things. And the thing about it is, um, you know, like so many physicians from the plant-based community have donated to products mm -hmm. to the bundle, which is pretty much unheard of. They don't usually participate in bundles. So Dr. Neil Barnard, who we absolutely love and adore, on March 24th, he's going to be doing a talk just for, it's a live talk just for the people who purchased the bundle. And it will be on March 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern time, followed by a Q&A. I mean, you know, Amazing. we went and saw him we went and saw him in person and I think we paid $20 a person just to go and hear him talk um, here locally. So that's pretty exciting. Um, uh, Rip El Esselstyn has a $10 off coupon for, you know, he has a line of food that used to be in Whole Foods and now it's available online and he has a $10 off coupon right there. If you use that, you've only spent $39 on it. Dr. Jessica Krant, um, she is a 
gorgeous and wonderful dermatologist. She's doing a seminar for three hours on March 20th from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern called Brilliant Life and Glowing Skin. That should be really great. Victoria Moran from Main Street Vegan is doing three sessions on weight loss. That will, I mean, that's probably worth over a hundred dollars just by itself. Um, and then the virtual women's retreat, um, that was um, a, a seminar, virtual seminar that Chef AJ put together. And I was one of the speakers for it. And she has put that in. And I did a um, PowerPoint presentation all about my batch cooking. You were the and so you, you have to watch that. That's included in the bundle as well as, you know, there were so many wonderful speakers that day. It was just, it was just an incredible experience. And so, um, and that's just like a small little snippet taste. And thank you what for, for having yeah. all those written down because I can't pull them out of my head like I can so many other things, but there is one thing that um, I'm going to also talk about for a minute. People should be aware that after you bought the bundle, if you click on an item to look at it, it counts as one of your seven downloads. So let's talk about this for a minute. So once I've clicked, I have bought the bundle for $49, I'll get a link that takes me to a download page. And here's a tip too. If you do um, Windows key or command F on that page, you'll get a little search box. And you can type in Tammy and it'll take you to Tammy's product or Kathy and it'll take you to Kathy's product if you're looking for one right now. Okay, you do get to download and, and let's talk what a download is and how we should use some of these products. So each download in that is a PDF. For example, I have a PDF that gives you a link to sign up for my course for free. And that's what my PDF is. Obviously Tammy's PDF you want to download and keep that because it's got recipes plus links to go see those videos and sign up for things. So there's going to be a variety of that. What your goal is to download that PDF, save it on your computer. In general, you shouldn't have to go back. So you don't want to go and click it every time to open it and read it, then close it and not save it on your computer. Because then you're going to go through those 10, you could go through those 10 downloads today. And the reason it's only 10 downloads is so you don't share it with all your friends. That's why Sendal does it that way. It has nothing to do with anything else. And so don't worry about it. And you have like a year that you can go back and download it. So let's say, and there's at the bottom of that, there's a click, a button, download them all. And it'll just download all those PDFs. What I did is then I made a folder that said bundle and I dropped them all in there so I could go and and then you can sign up for things at your leisure and things like that. So let's say you did that today and tomorrow your computer dies. Have you lost everything? No, because you have nine more downloads for each product. So that's what the multiple downloads are for. Or maybe I've downloaded them on my home computer. I'm at the store on my phone and I want to download it on my phone or you know something like so i can look up the grocery list on tammy's um ebook that i forgot because i'm a middle-aged lady and i forget things all the time as you guys can tell you know um so that's how things go so let's see and and then i noticed that i, I have, started I downloads i had to cancel and the counter was decremented yeah and that's just because and She's saying seven. I thought I heard in our group that they upped it to 10, but maybe it is still seven. But I thought they were upping it to 10. But part of it is if this is one of your first bundles, that can be the issue too. And some of the other bundles I've been in don't all have PDFs for every single product. For instance, usually you go to that page in some other bundles I've done and you click my link and sign up for my class. This time, you download the PDF, and that way it lets them kind of keep track of who's doing what, too. You know, as far as like, oh, that was really popular. We should have that in next year's bundle or something similar in next year's bundle. 
Uh, if for some reason you messed up and you used all your downloads, you can contact who, whoever you got, got it through and we can send you to the admin. So if it was just a simple mistake and you're like, maybe you had a computer problem, maybe you had internet issues and somehow it just ran through your account, I'm sure that there's something we can do to help you with that. But it is true, you don't want, every time you click on it, counts as one, so don't click on it just to read it, click on it to download it to your computer. If you're not so sure how to do that, again, scroll all the way past all those 100 products, and there's a button. Click to download them all. That's the best. And then they are advising everyone to back up your computer mm -hmm. and make sure that that the download is in your backup because after one year that web that download website will go away because mm -hmm. um, they are paying every month to keep that website up for a year and they can't do that indefinitely um, and so after one year that will go away and so if your computer does crash you want to be sure that you have that backed up or um, some people are putting it on a, um, a, thumb drive. a thumb drive and um, some people have told us that they just they went ahead and put it on a thumb drive and then they're saving their thumb drive in case they were to have like a computer crash or something. So that, that's a good point. And I know this is slightly off topic, but being kind of a techie person, don't forget you get some free storage on Google Drive if you have Gmail. So you can back it up there. And I believe you can get an amount of free storage on dropbox.com as well. And if you need links to those, just pop it in the comments so I'll see it and I'll go talk. Joanne was saying she heard you should download everything to a hard drive and then you can pick and choose from there and put in my files. And that's basically when you're downloading it, it is downloading it to your hard drive of the computer that you're on right then. And maybe, Maybe before the week is over, maybe I will show like how you could back them up on Dropbox or Gmail or how you can associate some of that. I'll, if I can, like someone else was saying that we're everywhere, Tammy, this week. And <laughs> everywhere they go, they see us plastered up somewhere. And it, it is like a big, wonderful, warm, plant-based community extravaganza, I feel like. And yeah, Tom says to him, it feels like we're all at a convention, yes. you know, where we're, where we're meeting and we're talking and we're sharing ideas and we're, you know, demonstrating things and giving out information. It's just that this convention happens to be virtual. Well, I love the idea too. And I've been, I don't know, my brain is bubbling. So I, I don't know. We may talk later, Tammy, because I have some other okay. interesting ideas that we're, maybe we can all come together and share a few ideas. But the yeah. main, main gist of getting out uh, of this whole thing, so A, Tammy is awesome, but you already knew that. <laughs> B, you need to download her salad book if you don't have it already and watch the videos because I'm going to be watching them with you and learning some new stuff. And I don't know about you guys, but I am like desperately wanting a salad now, which is <laughs> I'm going to try and make it real quick before my three o'clock live. <laughs> I wish you lived closer. I could have, I got a refrigerator full. You could come over and we'd have salad together. See, that would be lovely. And then when I'm recipe testing or doing a class, I can bring some of my food over to you. Wouldn't that be fun? I know. We need a little plant-based commune. We do. <laughs> You're Maybe. not the first one who has suggested that either. A nice retirement community where things are beautiful and we eat well and everybody gets a day off from cooking. I like that. Well, and the one th one reason that we're all out talking about this is because it's such an amazing deal. So even if you only use, like Kathy said, a few things out of the bundle, which I can't imagine that you would only utilize a few of them, because everything that I have looked at has been amazing. Um, it's well worth the money. And so what happens at the end of these things is no matter how much we've talked about it and promoted it, we will get some emails after March 2nd when this goes away and people will say, I didn't know about it, you know, until the end, is it too late? Or I didn't, I forgot that the cutoff date, that's why we're talking about it so much. Yeah. So it, when know, it's gone, we, 
it's gone. So like when it's yeah. gone, you can come get my class, but it's going to cost you $35. And your class is how much? 67. 67. So mm -hmm. even if you did nothing but learn how to make my dry mixes and make salads, you've more than paid for the class. But, yeah. but I agree with Tammy. There's so many awesome things. So like if you're into the plant-based aspect, if you're into the meal planning aspect, if you're into learning about more about health and from the doctors, or if you're just trying to learn more about lifestyle, making things easier for yourself. I mean, there's just so many different ways you can go. There's lots of exercise um, regimes and yoga and different things. And I'm just trying not to talk about all of them because I feel like then it kind of dilutes it a little bit. But it doesn't really because someone may not be like, well, that's great, Kathy. You make, you know, dry mixes from oats that I can use, but I won't do that. But I'll do yoga, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think it's so great because this, sometimes the communities can get a little bit divided. And I think this is such a good way for all of us to come together and really show that no matter why you're looking to eat plant-based or to be healthier or to exercise, all of these things come together so well. Yeah, there's something for everyone in the bundle. There really is. And just make sure you get it by March 2nd. I think it ends March 2nd. Is it 1159 Pacific Standard Time? It is. Okay. Because I'm Eastern Standard Time, so whenever it's Pacific, it seems like a bonus because it's like <laughs> a few hours after. But when you email us an hour after the bundle closes or the day, because Tammy and I aren't running it. It's not like we can go, hey, okay, we really like you. It's just, it's gone. And right. just ours has a little piece in it. Um, from some of the other bundles I've done, I've done bundles that are more expensive that did not have the same amount of amazing materials in here. And I do think it's the best plant-based bundle. And it's really, it's not the only plant-based bundle. It's the biggest, best plant-based bundle for a, a, a super affordable price that I've ever been in. And it has all the content from doctors. And so many of the doctors created new content for it. Dr. Sabatino wrote a new um, booklet for it. Uh, Dr. McDougall and his wife created a weight loss plan. It's a new one for the mm -hmm. bundle. Dr. Furman created an intermittent, fit, uh, intermittent fasting program. And it, I've, I read the whole thing. It, it is amazing. And it has menu plans and recipes in it. It's Ooh. incredible. And so, um, you know, the, a couple of doctors submitted PDFs that are all about inflammation. Dr. Esser has one um, complete with menu plan and recipes to help reduce inflammation. I mean, there's just so much good material in it. There really is. There's just, so, there's something for everyone. I, I know there is. Yeah. And I mean, everybody's kind of talking about that too. And actually at three o'clock Pacific, uh, not Pacific, I would say three o'clock PM Eastern standard time. Um, I'm going to be talking with Sid and we're going to talk a little bit about inflammation as well and food. So you guys can kind of tune into that interview if you want. Tammy, are you doing any more lives today? I'm going to be, I'm going on Instagram next. Okay. <laughs> I'll be on so, Instagram next. And then um, tomorrow um, on Sundays, just for anyone who's new to Nutmeg No Fuck, on Sundays, my husband Tom and I go live every Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific time on the Nutmeg Notebook YouTube channel. And um, we do all kinds of things. We interview different people. Um, you know, we um, sometimes we just do an open Q&A or I might pick a topic. We might talk about, you know, the importance of drinking water or how you, mm -hmm. you know, saute without oil or, you know, we might do something specific or we might have um, a special guest on. And so um, I think in the in March we have uh, we'll, we'll be having um, Reeves and Dylan from Well Your World are going to come on and they're going to do a cooking demo. Oh, you get two months free of their cooking classes in the bundle, which is worth $30. So you, and you get two months of it. 
So two live cooking classes for two months in a row. And I, and they are fantastic and they make really delicious um, food that's easy to make. So that would be really fun. And I'm going to have Dr. Nikki um, Davis on at the end of March. She's going to come on. And um, she was a physician at True North Health Center and she has a weight loss webinar in the bundle. And so that should be a really fun talk with her. Yeah, I've got Dr. Greger is scheduled for out in July now. Mm -hmm. And so so we have lots of, you know, fun people to interview and content. So join us on Sundays, 4 p.m. Pacific time. If that works for you, if not, you can watch the replay. And that's on your YouTube channel, right? Yeah, that's on the Nutmeg Notebook YouTube channel. If you go to our blog, at nutmegnotebook.com and you subscribe, which is free. You, you just, you know, enter in your email address and we do not share our email addresses and we do not sell them and we do not spam you. But my husband, Tom, does send out an email reminder on Sundays okay. to let people know about the, um, the show and who's going to be on it or what the topic is for that day. That sounds so it's wonderful. Fun. We have a really nice little um, community of people that have, especially during the pandemic, have gotten to know each other online really well. And Jessie's so, here. and Jessie's here. She, Jessie's watching your show and she, she's one of our moderators. She helps moderate the chat for us um, when we do our live shows. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, and you can see the chat kind of coming in with some, some of your people, some of my people and the, I, what I love too, and what I want to come out of all these lives and all of us go, talking about the different things too, is you're going to make more than just one person's recipes. You're going to you're going to learn from more than one person, and so this way, you guys can even join in other similar-minded communities. Because I know my community is just super sweet and supportive along the process, and wherever you happen to be, and so just know that. Oh, and Jessie says she watches my channel too. Oh, she, <laughs> she appreciates my spice sense. And, and we'll talk more about that I too. Do, and I do too. Oh, yeah. See, and that's the thing. I think that the uh, Tammy and I were talking about this off camera the other day is that, you know, rising tide floats all boats. And the thing is, is that even though my recipes are different than Tammy's, it doesn't mean that we can't make both of them. And also the more you guys know, the better it is for you, right? And it depends on what you're searching for at that moment. Like if you're like me, looking away to tick, I'm, I'm leaving for a, a conference for a few days and I'm like, hmm, perhaps Cheryl will have salads waiting for her while I'm gone, right? So we all learn from each other and no one person thinks the same. So it's just wonderful to build these layers on. And then sometimes, you know, you can do with this bundle. You don't have to watch all the things in the next year even. You download and you sign up and maybe you watch some of the live things live. Maybe you take one of my classes later or somebody else's as long as you've signed up for everything and you've downloaded everything within the year. You wanna check for the live things before then. And if you're buying through a person's link, they may have something special for you. For instance, um, if you buy through my link and you email me your receipt so I can see your transaction number and check it, then I'm actually adding you into the gnocchi class that films live next month. So we're going to be making that with oat flour and potatoes. It's going to be whole food plant-based. And so there's lots of little other goodies that are going around too. And let's see. Okay, and Joanne watches your channel. So we have overlap. And Thank yeah, you, and Jessie's Jesse saying that, you know, we plant-based watchers have a luxurious buffet of channels to choose from. I love that great wording. Well, Tammy, I'm going to let you go only because you have to go do another live. I would like to chat with you all day. Oh, and me too. I just love visiting with you. I know we have to do this more. We'll have to do like a chop and chat coming up or something like that. Oh, I love that. I love, oh that's adorable. I love that. Let's I did, do that. I did those on the pandemic. So like for a while, for months, I went live Monday through Friday and I'd be like, sometimes 
let's have soup together. Sometimes I would make something and then I was like, I've really been procrastinating chopping these onions. I chopped onions for two hours. Oh, I love that. And we, we just hung Chop out. And things like that. Okay. I'm going to borrow that, Kathy. I love that. I like that. Okay. We can do it. We have to do one together too. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be really fun. Okay. When awesome. Well, you chopping and prepping. Thank you so much for sharing all this wonderful information. And oh, and Linda's requesting a new unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in a while. So I will, yes, I'm taking requests. You can either put it in the comments or you can email me at kathyhester at gmail.com. But um, make sure you look around, see where the bundle is. If you've already bought the bundle, excellent. Just still keep, I would still watch these lives because you're going to learn other things that are in there that you want to mm -hmm. learn about or to go you, that one wasn't for me yeah. either way well, on, on instagram i'm going to show some stuff that i made that was from other people's recipes um when i go live on instagram because people have told me exactly what you're saying kathy that oh my gosh i really appreciate you showing different things in the bundle because that helps me know where to go and what to look at Exactly. And remember, we're all in this together. We're all going to grow together and learn together. And I'm going to end with my normal thing that if you have just a little bit of energy, do something kind for yourself. And if you have just that extra half teaspoon, do something kind for someone else. It really makes a huge difference in the world. So have an amazing weekend and I'll see some of you at three o'clock. Tammy, your, your nutmeg notebook on Instagram as well. Yes. So go follow Tammy over there and then come hang out with me at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have Thank an amazing Thank you so much for hosting me. Oh, anytime. Anytime you want to come hang out, I'm up for it. Okay. okay bye, everybody. Bye.